Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, importing Skype audio and video into OBS Studio using a technology called NDI. Now, NDI comes from a company called New Tech that makes the uh, TriCaster, which is a hardware software solution for internet broadcasting, something very much what the OBS Studio is as well. Now, what NDI allows you to do is uh, output from a NDI aware software application and use it as a source into OBS. So we're actually going to set it up uh, using, uh, first, first part we're gonna set up using the OBS Studio itself, and then we're gonna set up Skype uh, first as well, and then I'm gonna show you how you put them together. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is go to the OBS Studio website where you can download the OBS NDI plugin uh, for your operating system of choice, Windows, Linux, or Mac. And then uh, once you install it, and uh, you should be good to go, and you may have to re, uh, restart OBS Studio if you're currently running it. Now, as far as the Skype, you can't use uh, a re you can't even use a recent version. You have to actually use the um, preview version of Skype, which you can download from their website which is kind of like beta, which incorporates the NDI plugin. Um, now, eventually, they'll probably do a final release where the all versions are going to get the NDI plugin. Um, so um, first thing we're going to do is go to, once you have all that done, uh, we're going to go into Skype first. And then once you have the uh, preview version of Skype open, we're going to go to preferences and then we're going to select calling advanced and then finally allow NDI usage tab. Now it might be slightly different for Windows and Linux version. I'm not sure. We're going to go ahead and click that to on. And then uh, we're going to kind of get ready for our um, test call. And we're going to go ahead and click on call. In fact, we may even just try to uh, pause it here if it'll let us. Okay, once you do that, you can go into OBS Studio and then you click on the add sources and you should see one that says, um, let me see if I can find it in all these sources here, um, NDI source. Uh, you're going to click OK, and then from here you simply select your Skype application, which is, uh, the user is Echo123, which is just a, um, in fact, we may actually have to uh, reinitiate the uh, Skype call so you can see it better. Now, you can see right here on the right side, it has the, NDI, we had to turn off uh, right here. If you look in the mixer section, you'll see an NDI source for the audio. Now, we're not currently sending or receiving any Skype video, but that was, as you can see, it's just a blank uh, blue screen with Skype in it showing that's where the um, current video would show up for all your um, Skype calls right here. And we're going to go ahead and drag it down here. So that is how you initialize both Skype and OBS Studio to use um, video and audio using the NDI plugin. Not only can you receive it as a source in OBS Studio, you can export that source out to another NDI application uh, simply by going to your tool section and selecting NDI output settings and then simply checking main output. Now what that's going to do, oops, it crashed here and we'll restart it here. Um, what that does is actually export it out to another NDI application such as you could use this computer right here, NDI out as your gaming computer and then stream it out to a to your network to a uh, dedicated uh, encoding and streaming machine and then use the 
the output from this computer uh, is an input into another OBS studio. So that's a uh, really interesting technology from New Tech with, with the us utilizing the NDI plugin in both uh, OBS Studio and Skype. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.